when we saw them perform with Coin and Floor, which are two new indie bands that may, you may have heard of. Um, they just started a few months ago, and Colony House announced that they'll be doing their second album after their tour ends. Woo! And I'm definitely going to be buying it, because I found that they were at this or doing this concert, and it was at Rough Trade NYC, which is in Brooklyn. Um, and we went last Saturday night, and it's a great venue. It's small. Um hence why we were able to make it to the front of the stage which was great because we could see the sweat dripping off and uh our friend kelly got uh, almost hit by the guitar player a couple of times but it's all in the experience so it was a lot of fun um but we're it's definitely a band that we suggest to check out because they're great recorded but they're even better live yeah, that's right. They uh, they have no issue backing up their sound, and their s- lyrics are incredible. Mm-hmm. So they plus, are. if you just like a good rhythm, they're pretty great. Yeah, so. they are. So yeah, that was that's the situation with Colony House. Coin and Floor were pretty good, but they did have some sound issues going on a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but um, Colony House is still the team favorite over yeah, at WICR. Yeah, number one, Dana. Uh, or Colorado and I <laughs> uh, managed to get signatures and posters. It was pretty did, great. Was and pretty they, great. you know, there was a VIP thing, but like, you know, there's probably only extra 10 bucks because our tickets were $17. So yeah, if you're tax. looking for a concert, I'd, I'd check that out. Yeah, for sure. So um, there were $17 and it was probably like only an extra 10 for the VIP. And we just met them anyways. So yeah, who so needs VIP, man? Don't spend that extra $10 because we met them anyway and they're super chill just like you'd expect an indie band that sounds like that to be so we got five dollar posters got them to sign it and it was a beautiful and glorious night so oh yeah it was great it was great (laughs) yeah so (laughs) so um Let's think. So Colony House is performing, but we're going to keep you guys updated on different concerts that are going on um, throughout the city. Uh, so there's a standout indie rock singer songwriter, Mac DeMarco, and he showcases melodic guitar and spontane- spontaneity, goodness gracious, at the Capitol Theater in Port Chester, New York on Saturday, October 10th. Uh, again, that's Ma- uh, Mac DeMarco um, at Port Chester, New York on Saturday, October 10th. So for private events, information and tickets, please visit thecapitaltheater.com. And that's theater, R-E, not er just bt dubs whoa get whoa fancy. <laughs> whoa if you want to get fancy it's theatre <laughs> instead of theater just as miss darvis used to say in high school <laughs> musical so yeah um but just keep on checking out those different venues it's the smaller venues that are awesome um That's and awesomely cheap the indie bands play i definitely look at rough trade it's like a little record store mm-hmm. cute little it's area so hipster you yeah, you free wi-fi if that's a draw i you, mean do you guys have record players yes yes i miss do. uh boston does yeah mm-hmm. i do I, not my I brother do not. does I do not. yeah but it's a you know you kind of almost feel like you're not enough hipster to be in that place but um yeah the venue's it's not like a next level type thing is. and i can't afford any of the vinyl but no that's fine no but it's a Lots great experience in London. Lon- oh yeah, just go to London, oh, yeah, guys. Just casually, just I'll just casually, take a flight. They do though. London, they do. They London. Have cheaper vinyl. I, they have you know, that's nice one more reason there. to go to London because yeah. I haven't been. Yeah, and definitely. Great little street in Hashtag Piccadilly. study abroad. Yep, study abroad. Except we are all freshies, so, so uh, that's not happening not right now. Not for so, not for a bit. Two not years for we'll a bit. Get you some English vinyl and yeah, yeah, yeah. Just it'll just be two years in the making, and we'll come back and be like. Told you so. Yeah. Look at this. Definitely. Not twenty dollars. It's in cent. Uh, what like twenty cents? But like, what's it's that in pounds? pounds? Um, twenty cents in a pound. It, or a it's, dollar. It's in a smaller, pound. so it makes you feel better about it. But when you convert it yeah. back, it's probably like twenty five dollars as opposed to like All the right. twenty it would be here. All right. So you know, just either go to Rough Trade or London is the that's, two moral. That's the it's the only two options you have. Or Salvation Army if you want some good. Um, 70s uh the reason why vinyls well were a lost art for about 30 years yeah, yeah. <laughs> those those are there with like the great like portrait shots as the album covers i found one at rough trade it was in the used section of course and um 
that was super fun because I could afford it. But yet, it was so gloriously 70s that it just really didn't deserve my $2. But we'll see. It was called The Wedding Album, by the way, if you want to check it out. But don't. (laughs) <laughs> please don't. Yeah, no, it was yeah, Please don't. Yeah, but they had great ones, though, like coin and stuff that mm-hmm. you could check out and get all hipster on us. They had, like, a coffee bar, too, and, like, books, Ooh. which is my thing. So. Coin is coming up. When, yeah, uh, coin is coming up. When we come back, as, long, as well as Electric Love by Borns, which is one of my favorite songs at the moment. But first, we have a nice little uh, thing. L- little filler. Yeah. 